game. You're at Santa Ana Stadium. It's like a 30-yard play action. It looked like there was a switch release on the front side to the left. Yeah. And on the back side, he, he went straight to the seam. So I'm guessing he reads cover three and goes right to the to the seam. I'm guessing the yeah. coverage took him there. But the, the ability to process it, change his feet, quick release, flick. And coverage was good, but he had to thread that one too. That had to be accurate. Do you, do you remember what play I'm talking about there? I know exactly what play you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's a play where, uh, you know, we always talk about good placement beats coverage. So it doesn't matter how good their coverage is. If, if our placement is in the right spot and location to give our guy and only our guy the chance to go make a play, where it's either we catch it or it fails, you know, over or it, it, it works away from where the coverage is. So um, he, he takes a lot of pride in his, in his accuracy and understanding where windows are going to be. He does a lot of homework and study about coverages and where weaknesses are and mm. understanding disguises and movements and stuff pre and post snap. Mm-hmm. So um, he, he's not a kid who just goes back out there and, and surveys the scene and tries to figure it out and go. I mean, he has a pretty good idea and plan even before the ball is snapped and he confirms that and makes great decisions after the ball is snapped in that post snap environment. So he's got that ability and then when he when he pulls it out and throws it in the RPO, I, I saw one time he had power strong so to the C gap, I think, sewn into RPO. He opens the field, comes to the backside, throws a slant to where up to where his guy can get it. High. I mean it's still it's still covered well. I mean there's a lot of chess moves going on there. And then he's gotta throw it and then he's gotta throw a bullseye after yeah. he makes the read. And he made the correct read, right? Because the safety was down no to doubt. stop the run and everything. No doubt. So yeah, he he definitely made the right read and talk about for that for that route is uh, the angle of that route is adjusted based off of the coverage mm-hmm. so that, that receiver is going to break to the best angle he's going to have to get into a green patch of grass and that quarterback's also got to read the, the area I mean, it, it's a lot of a lot of has, has to do with his vision and just be able to see a bigger picture mm-hmm. I mean, he, he's able to see the receiver he's able to see the coverage around where the receiver's going to and what's behind the receiver mm-hmm process that in a fraction of a second as he's making this first initial read and still drop it down. That, that's not an easy thing to do. From your own 10-yard line, you're going against a red team, Santa Ana Stadium. Feel some pressure. When I slow it down, it looks like he, he may have recognized five-man rush and what looks like cover one. So I'm guessing it's five-man rush. Got to get rid of it. has got some pressure. It's cover one. It's man-to-man. So he finds the crosser, which I'm assuming is his man-to-man read, and did all of that, got some heat, while pressured, found that crosser, and zipped it, you know, got that release, that quick release that you're talking about, and on yeah. target. But same thing, just elongating the play, but also making the read on the fly? Yeah, that was actually, uh, that's not in a read, actually. Okay. So uh, that, that part of the, of the play is actually, there's a, there's a level of, of routes on the left side. Okay. And then as he feels the rush, he, he sends the play out, and then he has his eyes consistently down the field, and that's him creating on his own. Okay, and did the crosser break that out? Is Brock break that off as an option or something like that? No, uh, no. So his job is basically pull the safety across to the other side of the field, mm-hmm. so we can get a, a three level layer on the left side. Okay. So that was that was the, the receiver just continued to play through it and realized the play's breaking down and, and Kate having the heads up um, to to see you know things break down and, and to continue to make a play. All right, and that sneaky athleticism, you put that to work in the RPO game a little bit too. I think I saw RPO with... with... Yeah, he, he ran around a little bit. So, I mean, he, he definitely had a quick trigger throwing the ball from the pocket in the RPO game. But in the option game, he, he definitely was able to uh, sneak up on some people. And he had some pretty pretty big runs just because people were, you know, I don't know, necessarily respected his speed. Or We, we have some pretty scary backs too. So kids, teams wanted to take away those guys. But uh, you, know, they, they, you couldn't just take away our running backs without paying with, with our quarterbacks running. So Yeah, yeah. We, we even designed some runs for him and, and let him get loose and, and, and run around as the season went on. And he surprised even myself. That's just his ability to run the football. It looked like, you know, it was cover two, and he was he was looking probably to go, you know, middle field open, and there was some heat. So he went to the – to. Uh, the route on the backside came along to the to the to the right side down the sideline to the end zone for a touchdown on the run on the on the run with a flick of the wrist into what basically is the cover two window. But uh, do you know which which play I'm talking about? I know exactly what play you're talking about. It, it, so it, it, it's semi improvisational, but then he's also making a read within the construct of the coverage. Is that is that am I correct about that? 
Yeah, I mean, he has a really, really unique skill set when it comes to extending plays and, and uh, keeping plays alive and still, you know, just, you know making really good decisions on, on the go. And that's one thing that's really impressive about it. When he gets outside the pocket, uh, you know, he, he definitely uses his feet and, and definitely used that. But what makes it scary is just his ability to use the scramble drill and, and create. And, and those are, I mean, football is not played cleanly in the pocket I mean, at the quarterback position.